Well, they beat the state champs from Utah by 11, Arizona by 15, and Illinois. These are state champs, guys, by wow. 25 strokes. Andrew Kozan. Remember that name, Andrew Kozan. Yeah. You're going to be seeing him on the top of a lot of uh, PGA leaderboards, yes. I predict, uh, in the next decade or Real so. talent. Yeah. Best part about the Arizona trip was probably winning the last day. Just feeling like all the hard work has paid off was a really a great feeling. Just kind of prepare for it like every other tournament. I know we've all been practicing pretty hard. So um, once you get on the big stage, the, the pressure kind of goes away if you know you're well prepared. So I felt like we were all well prepared um, and that kind of took some pressure off our back. I control my nerves just by taking deep breaths before every shot, focusing really hard. Prayer as a team and individually and then we uh, had team meetings every night to get our heads in the right place, and uh, we executed on tournament day. I think we all knew we had this potential to sh go this low, and I think we can even go even lower than we did that tournament. I still think we can break the record that we set, um, but I think based on our practices and how we were preparing as a team before we even got to Arizona, we definitely expected to be able to shoot that type of score. I definitely saw it coming, for sure. I heard all of the boys' answers that they were confident that they could win. I am not so, was not so confident at the time because as you look at the list of teams that were there, there were teams with a lot of accolades and the way they did it on the website is they had the school logo with uh, years of uh, underneath that with the, when they had won the state championship. So when you're looking at these teams and scrolling down, you see six championships, eight, there was a team I think that had 20 and uh, underneath King's Academy it was zero. So uh, I was not super confident that we could go there and win. Uh, but I knew that we were good enough to win, which is why I wanted to work so hard to get the invi invitation to the event. The night before the final round, Coach really prepared us in one of our meetings at the hotel. And in particular, we went over this one verse, Hebrews 11.1. 1. It, it says, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the assurance of things not seen. And that final round, we took that to heart and we closed out the tournament and it was really a blessing. I think the best part of the trip was just the overall team camaraderie we had um, on and off the golf course. I know on the, on the course we kind of like were four and a half hours of sustained effort, kind of put in uh, the whole time just for the team, not just for ourselves but for everyone. The world really makes you believe that in order to achieve something great, you have to have been there before and done that and seen that and experienced. Um, but God actually tells you something totally different from that. Um, he is not interested in your past experience. I wanted the boys to grasp that it's very similar to what we believe in as the Bible defines faith itself as the substance of things hoped for and the assurance of things not yet seen. And uh, Jesus, of course, himself said that you uh, believe because you've seen, but blessed are those who believe and have not seen. I knew that if they could grasp that in their hearts, that they could go out and uh, get it done the next day, regardless of never having been there before. I give all my credit to my coach. She's helped me throughout golf, uh, on and off the course as well. He's a great Christian leader. Um, and ever since he came here, I think I was in ninth grade, I wouldn't even be close to where I am today in, in golf uh, if it wasn't for him. You know, I think we knew we had the ability to do it, but once you actually do it, um, it just gives you that next level of confidence. So I'm just hoping that we can use that confidence the rest of the season. I think the team's better than ever. We prepared very well. Each and every one of us put our 100% effort into it the whole entire trip and the weeks leading up to it, and it just came out to be great. I personally won the championship as an individual, um, so it was, an, it was really good to kind of see how I could compete with the top other high school players around the country. But as I said, it, it, I feel like it was more fun winning with the team, honestly, just because you got the whole team to celebrate with um, after, the game, after, the, after the round and throughout the night and for the weeks to come.